Hi, I'm Spencer Wilson. I'm the Group Executive Chef um, for Vittoria Group. Today we're at Davino's and I'm going to be cooking with our head chef, Gavin Thompson. Yeah, today we're going to be cooking a pan fried pollock with tomorrow black olive and basil sauce. Okay. Um, yeah. Gavin, um, give me a good cook this dish for us today. Um, what are you going to start off with uh, cooking? Uh, we'll start with a fennel. Okay. We need to braise the fennel down. fennel bulb cut in half and into three. Okay so you'll get literally two portions out of one fennel bowl. Yeah. Okay so a bit of oil on the bottom. And is that um, olive oil you're using there or pumice yeah. oil? We use a pumice oil. It's, it's a half okay. half for the olive oil mix. And you find that's better to cook with um... Yeah it's it's got a it's got a good smoking temperature and it's it's less better than olive oil. Okay. And obviously the cost as well. Yeah, obviously. So, we'll just sort it with fennel off. We're not going to get a nice colour on both sides. Okay. okay so. so, I've got my pollock. So, I take it, you know, our pollock, a lot of it is either from Scotland or from the North Atlantic. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Part of the club family, very underused. Um, we tend to use it a lot more now um, due to cods being overfished. Yeah. Um, the pond being a bit more fish friendly, sustainable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's a good fish in itself, you know. So, what size um, portion of fish are in there. We're working on uh, about 170 grams. Yeah. Okay, that's a nice size portion. Oh. I'm see you, you're not getting your pan too hot there. No, no, no. no. Why's why is that? Yeah, too hot. We we'll, want we'll, we'll it to cook evenly. Nice golden colour, not not um, full black. Okay. So you're looking for it to just take over and I'll start to just simmer slightly. Just tip the fennel over. That's a lovely golden colour on them. Yeah. So into the butter. So you're just getting it there to foam a bit, yeah. go a little bit brown to get that little bit of nuttiness to it. But not too far. That's it. And you're going to deglaze with the vermouth now? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to cover it with some grease proof and it'll help steam in, a, in its own juices. Um, so what, what's happening is with the, the butter and the vermouth it creates an emulsion. Um, by putting the cartouche on, the heat what goes up, it hits the top of the grease proof and it comes back down so it's containing all the flavour, all, all the juices to cook the fennel all the way round but keeping all the flavour in there and we get a lovely shine to it as well. Okay, so we'll start the sauce now. Some of the oil, some shallots diced. You're just sweating your shots off there a little bit now. Yep. 
the red button there. Pull the anchovies. They're using okay. anchovies, but don't need a lot of seasoning in this. Is that because of the natural salt in them? Yeah. So we might just finish with a little bit of salt, but that, that's all we need in it. Tomatoes. Capers. Do you, do you just give your capers a little rinse off there, do you? Yeah, yeah, a little squeeze. Uh, well, it depends if you've got salted or pickled. Pickled, just a little squeeze, get the vinegar out with the salt of need washing. Okay, lovely. Our pan fish is ready to cook it too. Once you turn the fish, you're just going to put a little bit of butter in there now, yeah? Yeah. Okay, we're going to nappy the fish with butter. And um, why do you nappy it with the butter? The uh, flavouring helps cook both sides, nice and even, colour to the skin while you're, you're frying from below. Okay. So how long are you going to put that in the oven now for Gavin? For about 4 minutes. Okay. okay, so we'll just leave that panel to rest now to take on all its own duties, yeah? So uh, cook it until the tomatoes start to, start, start to wilt slightly. Uh, then we're going to go in with our Napoli sauce. So Napoli sauce, can you just run me through what Napoli sauce is please? It's just a basic Italian tomato sauce. Uh, we've got uh, onions, um, tomato, some fennel. A bit of carrot in there. Cook it down for about two hours. So you're extracting all the flavour from it, and yeah. then and then we, we blitz it. The base for most most Italian pasta dishes. Okay. Uh, tomato base. Okay. So you don't really need much cooking, really, once. No, that no it's, it's it's a very quick thing to do. Okay. I'm just going to finish with a little bit of butter. Lovely. Seasoning. And a little bit of olive oil in there as well, you put, yeah. It doesn't need any salt. Two basil. So it's in basil leaves there, just ripped up. Yeah. So that just lets all the, the flavour just, 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 just perfumes the sauce. Extra virgin. Okay. Okay. So you, used, you just finished that off with um, extra virgin olive oil there. That's right, yeah. So we're not really cooking the extra virgin olive oil just in there. No, just for the flavour. Okay. Uh, and that's the sauce ready to go. Okay. Okay, Gavin, so you're ready to plate up? Yeah, that's the fennel ready. It's just braised down nicely, mm -hmm. lovely colour. Taking all the sweetness, you're developing the sugars. Just gonna line that up. Fish in the oven now, nice, nicely cooked. It's got a lovely crispy skin to it as well. Yeah. And then sauce. I'm just gonna nappy this. So that's our uh, pan fried pollock uh, on braised fennel with tomato, black olive, and caper sauce.